for your palmer, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Cutting around in wet, snotty, waterlogged fields. Hey, we wouldn't have it any other way, would we? Hey, Fenlanders, how are you? I'm Anna, and I'm freezing cold. It's a bit chilly where we are at the minute. This morning it was minus seven. Um, I don't know what it is where you guys are at the moment, but it has been so, so chilly here on the farm. Welcome to the channel if you are new here. If you're new, we'd really appreciate you considering subscribing to our farming channel. And if you are a regular, hello, welcome back. You know me, I'm Anna. You all know that I'm not the farmer. Daniel was the farmer. However, just lately, because they've been grading so much, it seems that I'm kind of taking over. It, I've been trying to fly solo, doing farm sales, which has been so much fun. And you guys all love a farm sale, so they've been going down really, really well. Hopefully, me and Grumpy Grandad are going to a farm sale tomorrow. If not, hopefully I'll be able to just go on my own. But hope, I'm hoping that I can take Grumpy Grandad because Daniel did say that he is just, where they've just been flat out, he just needs to get out and just have a day off. So he's been extra grumpy just lately because they've been so flat out with potatoes. Yeah, they're doing a lot of potato orders. So at the moment, they must be grading potatoes in their dreams because they're doing so many. So Daniel, I didn't really think had been doing much filming. So I kind of thought tonight we wasn't really going to have much of a video and then on Thursday I thought we'd have a farm sale video because me and Grandad are going to go tomorrow but it turns out that Daniel has been doing some filming when he's when he's has managed to get on the tractor which hasn't been that often but he has done a little bit of filming and so I thought I'd put a little video for you guys um just a little video together for you guys some is of Daniel doing some drilling before we even went to Midlands Machinery Show and that was middle of November I think and then there's another one of him doing some um, field work with the Claydon drill and then at the end of the video stick around to see we have a lovely lady who is um, showing that women can do things just as well as men so stick around she is awesome and yeah and give her loads of comments and loads of thumbs up to say she's doing a really, really good job because we love her. She's awesome. So, yeah, see what you guys think. Let me know what you think to today's video. It's a little bit mishmash, but hopefully show you guys just a little bit of what we've been doing in the last few weeks that's not been farm sales and that's not been potatoes. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video and, um, yeah, let's get into it. Good morning, Finlanders. How are we? Uh, I hope you're all well. Like I said, uh, forgive me for uh, not doing too many videos this week, but we're a bit late. But we're rattling on. We are cracking on now. There you can see perfect conditions for us after, I don't know, 30 mil of rain over the weekend, last weekend. And Monday and Tuesday was pretty horrible with rain and stuff as well. So seven o'clock in the morning and I'm still trying to wake up. Yeah. But yeah, as you can see, I got uh, 14 and a half hectares drilled yesterday. Yesterday afternoon. I done all this from about, well, it was just starting to get dark, harvest free time. Harvest free till about eight o'clock last night I was out here. I know some of you um, struggled and had to put the murder stat away now. Um, but for me, it's perfect conditions. This is our potato field. <clears throat> one sugar beet field, one potato field. Yeah, I cultivated it the other day and then it had a load of rain on it, so yesterday was a bit tacky, let's say that. Especially on the sugar beet field, it was more tacky on the sugar beet field than it had been on this potato field. But if you can see, it's just starting to get a good haze, a haze over it now. It's lovely. <laughs> so we're going to try and get the rest of this potato field finished. Uh, I should have done it last night, but there's, <coughs> there's the edge of the field, so we're... Um, we're rattling on. We don't hang around around here. Very fast heading towards um, some kind of getting my field around a direct drilled kind of situation going on. Yeah, maybe just go through with the uh, Grange toolbar in the summertime or go over it. Once I've made my straw rake, go over it with a straw rake and then just wait till it rains and then drill it then. When it's... Weirdly, the compaction eases up 
it like expands as it gets wet the soil my soil seems to expand with moisture and kind of loosens the compaction out a little bit like the the fields in the summertime are rock hard but now they're they're really not you can dig your heel into them no trouble at all so just wondering if it's a timing issue and the grains toolbar on the front of the drill just when I'm drilling mustards and stuff you know just to break the compaction up in the summertime but then that means I'm wearing the points out pretty quick doesn't it so so what was everyone doing at the weekend I hope you're gonna have a fun filled weekend or like me and most other farmers I am flat out working all weekend unfortunately uh, there's um, nothing I can do about it enjoy your uh, sandwich and enjoy your chips and stuff and just think about me but then in winter time when, it, when I'm all caught up and finished and stuff and I'm like this on a Wednesday morning I'll return the favour and think about you lot when uh, when I ain't got nothing to do but you know farming there's always stuff to do yeah I know some of you had to pack your verdict stats away like Matthew Hello Matthew, Matthew likes watching the channel, Matthew my friend Matthew, Burwell's second best. They've got a Plottinger drill, is it Plottinger or Pluga? It's Plottinger, yeah it's Plottinger. I know they said they had, Matthew said he had to pack that away the other day because obviously the plough has to come back out when they when they get too wet but they're just cussing me because I can still get on with my direct drill type thing. And loving it, now I've got it set up a bit better. I think there's three imagine the drill should be flat all the way across the back but the two wings were a, a bit lighter than the middle so the middle was down here pushing the seed in about three inches and then the wings were leaving it on the surface so I've just I don't know how that's happened but I've just adjusted my wings down a bit and uh, we're all sorted I could have a nap I mean I was out here to where you got last night somebody did comment on the other video and say ah oh, why didn't you do that's Baza B I think Baza B say hello Baza B thanks for watching yeah, I just, I simply just hadn't got time to, uh, I just hadn't got time to change my wheels over myself. So while Glenn was there, I mean, he's done two, the sprayer and, and he fixed the track, the uh, JCB for me as well. So normally, I mean, I put the wheels on myself so I can do it again. It's just straight out of grading spuds and into, um, into, uh, into drilling. I've got, I don't know, a couple of hundred acres, 250, maybe 300 acres left to do. A 250 acre field soon soon covers some ground you know so hopefully i'll be done them today i mean i've done nearly 15 hectares yesterday so yesterday evening so good day good start today should rattle some ground in but possibly being one of the hardest harvests i think i've ever had i don't know why i know i know a few years ago where every day it rained a little bit just enough to put us off that was a difficult harvest i think that was 2018 yeah that was pretty hard work every time we went to the field to get a load it rained so we didn't we came home we ended up with about three trailers stuck on the field where we'd just gone over there and, and bought one tractor home and then we took two trailers the next day and left a tractor and a trailer there and came home in one tractor and just kept leaving tractors all over the place really but this year it seems a bit like that so just never ending uh potatoes which is great can't complain dad's done four loads of muck yesterday which was good got straight on the 170 and headed off to um to Brian's and um, then got him started getting him cleared out of his mountain of muck which he provides for us which is great. Look at that look. This is why I do my job. Sit there and stare at the sun coming up all day. The camera never does it justice does it but to me that's a beautiful sight. There's some of my wheat I drilled before we started tatering. Looking good. Cookie says it needs some um, some fly spray on it, some lambda star on it, or whatever it is. I can't remember what it's called. Fly spray and a top up with manganese. Had my barnet cut last night and all, so I'm looking ream. I can't get away with using that word. Hey, how you getting on? Right. After this week, I feel like an old man. So I've got a few things I always check when I change the field. One is to just come out and spin the um, land wheel and then you can see the seed coming out, see all the red seed coming out and I'll just have a walk along and just make sure that ugh, everything looks okay and there's seed coming out of each culture. Just a simple little walk around. 
I need to get out of the uh, tractor every couple of hours anyway. Stop myself seizing up, which I just done. So uh, it's always good to have a walk around. Yeah, all looks good. Come around this side. Yeah, all looks lovely. The good thing about getting out and having a walk around is <coughs> you can see if anything's going wrong and anything's leaking or anything looks out of place or anything like that. Because I have had it when the 6190 blew the hose underneath the tractor and then all of a sudden, without warning, it just came to a screeching halt. It just stopped on me and said stop, stop, stop. So uh, we ended up having to tow it and, and transport it to Ben Burgess for, um, for repairs. So that wasn't good and uh, I didn't notice it, but no, no leaks or anything. Look at that beauty. Oh yeah. And also I've changed fields and the conditions are absolutely perfect. Absolutely spot on they are. They've obviously got wings on this thing. Oh, there's a bit of seed. That's not very deep. Or just having a look, there's a bit, I don't know if it's all that deep, that's just plucked it out, there you go. So perfect, about three centimetres under the, and I always check in the middle of the drill. So it would be handy to have my um, levelling harrows on the back of the drill at the minute, but for what uh, little I gain, I mean you can see it's gone a bit compacted there and a bit hard look, but providing we don't get too much rain it'll grow through that, no trouble. There's the seed there, look see it so i managed to get the drill all leveled up somehow i must have buggered about with it and um it's um got itself all out of kilter so there's some seed on the surface there so that ain't very deep is it yeah there you go it's just plucking a bit out i could probably go a little bit deeper with this wing if i can figure out which wing it was there it is there look. just there so under the surface Providing we don't get no rain, it should be good. I mean, I could drop that in. Let me figure out which wing it is. Um, yeah, so it's obviously this side one. So let me let me wind that in a turn. Why I drop this side wing in a turn and um, and leave it at that. Just leaving a little bit on the surface, but nothing major. It's just I bet the wheels are picking up more than anything and picking it up and flicking it out. Just going to turn with that and see how that goes. So good to have five minutes just having to wander around, try and wake up a little bit more, you know. Cheers, guys. Hello, all you beautiful people. Good afternoon. What an amazing day, look. I just wanted to um, show you how much of a godsend having the sat nav is. Just explain why the sat nav for us is brilliant. Um, but I uh, finished. I finished kidneys. My other field kidneys. So. I moved on to some gleam now. I'm putting gleam in the uh, drill and I'm just going to do one of my black fields. Now it's not too bad going this way, but it's, the sun is low over the yard arm, is what, they, is what the old saying is, I think. Getting low over the yard arm, that's it. Anyway, when you're trying to look at a marker in the middle of the field, I haven't got my markers on, but can you imagine trying to look for a scratch in that? Now it's a bit better, I could see a little bit better. Can you imagine looking for a scratch with your marker in the dark? Well, it's, it's bad now because the sun's at such an awkward height. But it gives you a bit of better perspective. I can't see anything going on in there because everything's black. The camera's actually picking that up better than I thought it would. If it bungs up or anything, I can't see it because all I can see is black dirt flying around. It's very difficult to see. Obviously, I've got no markers because I'm RTK. Yeah, I thought I'd just give you a bird's eye perspective of this. There you go big old hand but this is going in a tree I mean by the end of the day I would have drilled uh, yesterday afternoon and evening and today I reckon I'd have drilled about 50 hectares so that was on 27 when I reset it from the other two fields I'm gonna hopefully get this eight hectares drilled today this, this is what I was trying to show you but you can't see anything with the Sun the camera never really picks it up, but I can hardly see the vertistat behind me. Unless I pull the screen down, it's a bit better, but I mean, you can't see anything, can you? Very difficult. That's why we have sat nav. It doesn't really make us more efficient. Well, it does, because I, as you can see, I'm, I'm leaving a gap. I'm leaving two gaps and then filling them in, getting a circle going. 
and that is really efficient. I never have to back up on the headland. You know, I can drill 50 or 60 acres in a day, no trouble at all, easily. Oh. Yeah, I just, um, the, these sat navs and stuff, when you're on like, when the prairie boys in America are on like 60 foot wide cultivators, that's when you really started to notice the increase in efficiency. Obviously the wider the implement, the faster you get done. And it, it, if I'm leaving a gap a centimeter either side of my drill, yeah, I really am like not having to go back and fill in a bit that's this wide or anything like that. So just a little insight for you there, um, just how efficient these sat nav uh, things are really. That sun is getting proper bright now. Ah, hang on. Somebody's nicked my Grimmy glasses. So I don't know where they've gone. There we go. I'm looking ring now. Partridges running around everywhere. Keep looking down. I was trying to find the seed a minute ago. I went down and scratched around. Red seed in black soil. Just you can't see it. It's ridiculous. Hey, living the dream, loving it. If you're enjoying today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really, really helps our channel when you do like the video. And it also helps to show you guys more awesome farming videos. So tells the YouTube algorithm that you're enjoying farming and it will show you more. So give it a big thumbs up. It helps us and it also helps you. Thank you guys. <laughs> Good morning, Fentlanders. How are we doing? Trying to be cheery. It's a nice, bright, sunny day today. So that's great. Uh, we've got some... Oh, a little bit of everything going on today. One thing I'm not going to do today is grade some potatoes. So that makes a change. First time in 10 days I haven't done any potatoes. So it's uh, been a bit chaotic here and I'll explain, uh, I'll explain the chaos at some point. But and first of all, we're going to try and get the motocross kids sorted out so they can have fun for the day out on the field. So uh, the 170 really hasn't had a lot of use in the last few days. So Grumpy Granddad did say he's just come out here and tried to get it running and it didn't start. So. I know it's got an issue with the fuel rail. It just needs another sensor or something or, or a pressure regulator or something on the fuel rail to get it to start. We've had it before on our 190, 6190R. We've had it before on that. So let me pump you down. Uh-oh, you got nowhere magnetic to plonk you down. There you go. You'll have to do that for a minute until I get my mount sorted. I'm a pro at making GoPro mounts now. Obviously I have to keep taking these mounts out and putting them in different tractors until I make some more, until I get time to make some more. Yeah, this one obviously just been in there, so uh, six, six 250R. Uh, thought of him, thought of him, but not quite. If I let that hang down there like that, it ain't gonna go nowhere. You might wobble around a little bit, but. Hey, hey. Grumpy Granddad said he um, tried to start it and uh, it wouldn't start, so we have that. This thing hasn't really had a workout in a few few weeks, so kind of came off the um, came off the harvester, got his wheels changed by Glenn, and that's about all it's done, really. Uh, it's I've done a few loads of muck, so. Uh, there's a little vibration in this thing, so I'm wondering, underneath our feet here is a big old grommet. Underneath here, there's a, a link between the engine and the, and the transmission. It's only doing it in turn, Rev, so I'm wondering if that, needs, uh, if that needs some attention, but... Obviously, I don't think it's engine problems, because otherwise I'd have a code coming up saying there was an injector block or, blocked or something. And also, I got my new hat from Orgatalk. So thanks, Rebecca, uh, from Orgatalk for sending me a hat out. And uh, I got a cap, a hat, got a uh, high vis as well, which is cool. Most appreciated. We're going to show you lot when we start uh, making some piles for ourselves for the uh, new farm office going up out the back there. When I get a minute, uh, as soon as I get that sorted, we'll do a video for Orgatalk. We've just bought bought some bits and pieces from Orgatalk, and they, we want to have a go with it. It's going to be funny. Seeing how we get on, drilling some holes 25 feet in the ground on our own and then backfilling it with concrete. So yeah, it should be good. So yeah, thank you, Rebecca. I told her we've got a, um, our own YouTube channel and stuff and she sent me some hats out to, to model. 
starting to get a uh, reputation as a pretty handsome chap, aren't I? So, 170 is running. Now I need to go and get the uh, range toolbar sorted out. I'll leave that warming up for 10 minutes. Grab a chain and uh, go and pick the uh, Grange toolbar up and get that in the yard here. So I... <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Are you all right up there? Look at that, look. Beautiful. You watch, the 170 started. Now the um, old John Deere loader won't start. Oh, purrs like a kitten after 12,000 hours. JCB's uh, all, all geared up to um, go muck tie, and maybe we'll get some muck tie tomorrow, hopefully. But yeah, and, uh, I've got some. I've got some. Uh, we're going to make a video in the future of how our potato grading's been, but at the minute we're not. It's been chaotic. I've drafted in extra help. The orders are there, and it's manic. Uh, basically, for our little farm, I'm doing like 130 ton a week or so doing just over 100 pallets. I know we put a lot of them in 45, which means every 12 ton, that's 13 and a half ton. Every 12 pallets is 13 and a half ton, should I say. So yeah, I mean, just, uh, just gone crazy. So, the life of a farmer, hey? Be a farmer, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Happening around in wet, snotty, waterlogged fields. Hey, we wouldn't have it any other way, would we? Uh, I know I know. 95% of all farmers that are all watching this are all doing it for the love of it. They love doing it. It's kind of a different um, mindset to anybody else who's got a job, if that makes any sense. We kind of do it regardless of if we're losing money or not. I don't know why we do it, but there you go. Yeah, it's just ingrained and born into us, really. We just love doing it. And I've got the sheep out in the field now as well. You might see them in a minute. Yeah, Holly's bought, um, I haven't actually asked her how many she's bought along with her. Two fields of mustard being mowed down by sheep at the minute. Yeah, we have looked into like grants for, um, well, not grants so much, as just doing things for um, the environment and getting paid for it, you know, which one of them is having 70% of your land covered in a multi-species cover crop, which is what we've done. It's either got to be green, fields or it's got to be a, a cover crop or something so it can be your wheat field stubble fields left to green up it can be planted wheat or it can be a cover crop but the stupid thing is about this and you're gonna love this this is totally back to front you're not allowed to do anything unless uh you're six weeks away from the end of february so the middle of january you're allowed to go out and round up it off now work that one out for the environment you're not allowed to put sheep on it to let them graze it, which is adding organic matter back into your soil. You guys go and figure that one out. Why on earth would they say you can only go out and round up it? Why don't they say you can go out there and put some sheep on it? Perfect, 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 perfect. So, yeah, my little rant done for the day. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever to me, but uh, it doesn't make any sense to me. It's probably stupid. So, uh, one of the motocross kids is here already today. And then I'm just gonna pick the Grange toolbar up this morning and uh, plonk that in the plonk that in the yard because uh, as you can now see. It fell over! The discs uh, I, I kind of broke the discs, so um, yeah it is what it is. I broke them and I need to fix them, so I took them off. Um, I have got stuff to fix, don't worry. But for today, I've only got to pull two headlands up, uh, four headlands on two different fields, or two two headlands, uh, yeah, two headlands on two different fields. So, all right, let me get a chain on. Da, 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 da. What I've got to do is lower them legs down, haven't I? chain off that, so that's all sorted. Of 
There we go, one job done. And uh, that's the one job done with this little loader for a little while. Go and get what we need to get done with the uh, grain toolbar. Somebody's nicked my top link ball, but that's probably because I had it on the uh, 7290. Start moving, that's still away. So. so here we are, folks, just out here um, having a look and uh, grain machinery toolbarring my headlands that I needed to do. I've only got uh, three headlands left to do with this now. I've got one field over Botany, what I call Botany, which is just over there, that hasn't been touched by anything. It's just, just been sprayed off. Just been sprayed off. I may just go over there and direct drill it. Like lift the, the, the cultivating discs out and just leave the drill cultivator discs in and uh, drill the whole thing. Um, I may, I'm in talks with someone to come and bring me another Grange machinery, a low disturbance subsoiler combi thing out. In talks with them to uh, come and bring me a, one with a packer roller on the back just to try it. Um, so fingers crossed that comes off and I'll, and I'll just go and do the big field over Botany with that. And then the small field, I am just gonna literally straight in, drilling discs and that's it. And see how we get on, it may may work, it may not. I'm loving the sunshine as well. Sun's come out and it is good. Now, I'm not trying too hard with the speed on this thing, I'm only doing 5K. Simple reason really, it's uh, muddy. Yeah, it's plenty hard enough on these headlands. I didn't realize it would be that hard after Jay's already pulled these headlands up and Bailey's already been over these headlands with the, with the disc, so I didn't think they'd be that rock hard. And I've drilled it, obviously, but they are like concrete. So I know the drainage board have been done a ditch out. They haven't slubbed it out yet, but they have um, they have been down there mowing it, so that's put it down fairly. But I could quite easily have a nap now. I didn't sleep very well last night. Anna's like, positive, positive, and I'm flat out grading potatoes. First day off from grading potatoes in about three weeks that I've had time to do anything. Hey guys, so Anna and Dan has asked me to um, put on this GoPro. He left me a little present in the tractor cab. Down there it was, woo woo. And he's asked me to put it on the holder. Well, you lot can call me blonde, but I think that's the holder. I don't know where else to put it. Oh yeah. Thanks Dan for that bit of advice. Oh wow. That's awesome. I've found somewhere. Don't know if that's the stand, but how do you do this then? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's stuck on there. That won't be going anywhere. Sun's a bit bright. So I'm helping Dan out, um, carting muck today. I think the muck driver's getting a bit stuck. It's wheel spinning and all sorts. Stinky, stinky stuff. Yeah, Dan said film myself because he knows he, you know, he's driven past me a few times and I've been talking to myself. So I wasn't talking, I was singing. I make songs up in my head because it's nearly Christmas. And I love to sing to a bit of Luco. I want you to see how we get loaded, okay? got a funny story I might as well tell you while I'm being loaded so anyway Dan walkie talks me when he drove past said that I've got a GoPro in here blah 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 and then he goes um, there's a different way he's gonna load you there's two sets of gates back in there it'll be quite difficult so anyway I'll show you there's the entrance so I'm coming here went up there 
and I put my arse end in these two gates where he is now. The, the loader broke on the teleporter, loader, comes out and was like, you're just showing off. I said, what do you mean? I said, Dan said, I've got to back down them gates. He said, no, you're back down, so back down where I am now. So he goes through the gates and loads me like that. I was like, oh, I felt like a right, that's when I felt like a proper blonde head. So yeah, that's a funny little story. And then I backed up like this, and yeah, at least I can back. That's a good job I can back. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. All right. See you on the next one. Yeah, all right, thank you. We're all loaded. Ready to rock and roll. Okay, it's okay. And we're ready. We're setting off. All clear. Good to go. See you later, my friend. And we're off. I pull out at first and go slow because um, that's all right, Laurie. Just pull out. Yeah, so I pull off slow because um, the mud on my tyres and that. I don't want it going everywhere. We need to get Anna. Anna, I see Anna today. She wasn't feeling. She was feeling a bit under the weather. I think she's got woman flu. It's a lot worse than man flu. Definitely, 110% worse than man flu. You men think you get it hard when you get flu. Woohoo! Woman flu is a lot, lot worse. Mark, this is mustard, this is Dan's mustard. 
That stands mustard. And that's his mark. And that's the mark I'm carting. And this is me! <laughs> Oh god, I've gone a bit wide. Gone ever so wide. Don't tell me off for that. Well, I'm gonna go back on the bit closer. Right, let's get back up a bit closer. Oh, what was you doing, Zoe? Did you think you was in an Arctic? enjoyed today's video i am now gonna go get a hot chocolate or get something to get me warm because it's freezing out here i hope you guys are all keeping well in this freezing cold weather that we've been having let us know in the comments how cold it's been where you are this morning i got in my car i did post it on our instagram stories but it was minus seven minus seven genuinely mum over there look at her in all her glory I think I said, oh my God, it's minus seven about 20 times. And she said, I wish I had 10 pounds for every time you said, oh my God, it's minus seven. I, I genuinely, I've never experienced that before in my life. So let me know what it's been like where you guys are. Um, and we will see you guys on Thursday. Hopefully we'll see you on Thursday for a farm sale video. See you later guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye.